Well, I finally got delivery of my new gear train um, from Chris Odling, and now I'm going to start assembling the gearbox back together. Um, I have purchased some new bearings. I thought, well, if I'm spending all the money on the gears, it makes sense to buy a new set of bearings. So first off is to install the bearings into both the cover and the case. What I'm going to do is heat up the case slightly with a um, blowtorch, which we'll show you later, and then drop the bearings in. Don't forget that put the shims back in as they came out, and there are, in my case, there were two shims which fitted in the bearing cover. Sorry, the gearbox cover. They drop in there. Make sure you get the right bearing as well, which fits in there. Uh, the two larger bearings are different, um, so just make sure you've got the right one. And I'll heat it up and we'll install it. Okay, you can probably hear that. That is my blow lamp. I'm now just going to very gently heat up the aluminium casing. Um, trying to get an even temperature all over so that I don't end up causing any distortion. Uh, the bearing is just resting on a couple of, sorry, the case cover is just resting on a couple of bits of uh, mild steel and a bit of tin plate underneath. It doesn't need to be super hot. First thing we're going to do is put the shims in and make sure they are in place. So drop the shims in. And now I'll try the bearing. Perfect. And now we'll just pop the other bearing in. And both bearings have dropped in there very nicely. You can just see how hot that is there, it's just, just bubbling off a bit of spit. Okay. I'm now about to assemble the uh, gear selector mechanism. And that goes into the gearbox casing as one of the first things to do after the bearings have been fitted. There are my bearings. Um, just note there's a fairly thick, what looks like a fiber washer here, and then there is a rubber ring here which presses against, let me just show that, which seals on this face there of the gearbox. Um, one other thing to note, the main shaft here, this large washer, on mine I'm assembling it back in as it came out of the, uh, the pike. The washer has uh, a small recess here and that recess faces the internal bearing and you can probably see on here where there's a slight wear there which is caused by the rotation of the splines on the gearbox so that's how I've determined that it is it does go in that way so it's the <coughs> this face with the recess goes into the gearbox Right, I'm now going to try and assemble the gear cluster and the main shaft into the gearbox. Um, <coughs> ideally, you'll take this gear and feed it on from the bottom. 
like so. Um, that can be placed inside the gearbox casing and then the shaft dropped through. In my case, this um, gear, the new gear, is just too tight to comfortably slide over here. It's fine on the shaft here, where I'm moving it up and down, that's no problem at all. But I can't get it on from the bottom. But I've discovered it is possible to feed this, uh, to assemble the gears, even in this situation. You need to take the selector mechanism and that gear, put it in, make sure they're loose. And then, by some jiggling and poking, <laughs> Position the slider, um, the arms of the selector mechanism onto the gear. This is really quite fiddly. So with that, with the, the gear and the selector mechanism in place, it is possible to drop this in. And then you may think when you try and do this that it's not, but it is possible. You just have to get it in the right position and then it will drop in. Now I'm going to carry on with this and I'll drop it in, but it's going to take a few minutes, I'm sure. Okay, um, I said it would take a minute or two, and it has, but I've just now got it into position and that will now drop in that the uh, three gear cluster can drop into its bearing at the bottom and then hopefully with a little bit of juggling about there we go and we have the gear and its selector mechanism in place you can now feed in the gear selector arm don't forget there is a fiber washer here and a rubber o-ring here, the rubber o-ring sealing against this face here to prevent oil leaks coming out the bottom of the gearbox. Okay, thank you.